Stellenboschnews.com, your local news partner. Stellenboschnews.com endeavors to provide the wider Stellenbosch community with quality news, insight, and opinions. We aim to cover the entirety of the Stellenbosch community and bring you the stories of your people that you might otherwise miss. Stellenboschnews.com will be a witness, chronicler, and critic of the events that shape this historic town. In line with the South African press code and South African constitution, we always follow strict principles of fair and just journalism and will always protect the principles embedded in the South African constitution with special emphasis on the Bill of Rights. But more than this, we are a member of this community and a partner to our schools, tertiary institutions, businesses and citizens alike. Through our supporting social media platforms, we will ensure that this partnership benefits all who live in Stellenbosch. Welcome to Vertigo, our first online exhibition at IS Art in Stellenbosch, an exhibition of sculpture by Guy Toy and paintings by Vicky Fushia. We're very happy to have it here. Uh, there will be a short documentary done by Felix Myberg, shown after this, and then a very short um, uh, video about the gallery itself. Enjoy. Goodbye. Gun. I decided on this exhibition about a year ago and we agreed on the title Vertigo. Um, uh, Nikki came up with the brilliant idea of Vertigo. Well, we actually had an exhibition at the same gallery two years earlier and that was titled Echo. I thought it might be a nice follow-up from Echo to Vertigo. And then little did we know that COVID was going to hit us and Vertigo and COVID sort of overlapped um, quite strongly in the, on a lot of levels. The two are, are related. Vertigo, an extreme case of, of work that creates, um, puts you into a frozen position where you can't move and you, you, you're stuck, you don't have a future. You would quite happily die in that position you're in. And that's more or less where we are with COVID. We don't know um, where the horizon stops and ends. And so we're frozen to a certain extent. So this painting called Silence was made during the severe lockdown we had when everything suddenly turned really quiet. Um, we usually have a lot of aeroplanes overhead and suddenly there were none and no cars anywhere. It was a feeling of r complete silence and I guess it was all over the world and that's how I came up with this painting. This is my collection of works for the exhibition. There are 21 works. Most of them, or in fact all of them, have been made since lockdown began. They're all individually made, cast in bronze, so they're unique. They're all one of one, and most of them, or all of them, in fact, reflect the COVID situation in some way. Here we've got an early one when we we're introduced uh, to greeting with the ankle tap. Remember that? <laughs> Oh, yes, the elbow one. Yeah, yeah, we got the, uh, the elbow bump. And they're dancing while they're doing it. Recently, I realized that my work is actually resembling more and more those landscapes in which I used to sleepwalk as a child. And while sleepwalking, I remember I was looking for something. I was always searching. And it's the same in my work. I'm searching for something uh, magnetic and dark and mysterious, really mysterious. Contrast yeah. plays a big role in my work. I like to have bright colors and black areas. On my dreams... Light the, at the end of the yeah, tunnel. There's, yes, yeah. yes, there's a lot yeah. of light um, in one place and a lot of darkness around, always when I dream. It's almost like a pinhole. Um, yes, yeah. that's true, that's true, yeah. it is. <laughs> and then we've got Ringer Ringer Roses from that old nursery rhyme from the previous pandemic. 
<laughs> where the children used to sing ringa ringa roses, had tissue, had tissue, we all fall down. Yeah. In my work mainly, uh, there's always a blurring of lines between future and past and a blurring of lines between reality and dream and uh, also between nature and imagination. The blurring of lines between future and past, I sometimes have angels or saints in my work with a drone or a UFO. We see ourselves in the hair, and this particular hair I'm making is, is one that is sexless, it's genderless, it's sort of a, a universal being. And I think because it's got two ears that become extremities or, or added limbs, um, somehow it has a, a control over us. Everyone is very comfortable with the hair. They see something of themselves in it. Thank you.